All right, another thing that JavaScript does when it comes to the if conditions and uh, type conversions is you can do something like you do in C where you pass in a value to an if block. Okay, so let's say I wanna do something like this, if A, okay? Now, what do you think happens? Let me remove B, I need this. A has a value of 10, now I'm gonna do an if A. Something like this will not work in Java, right? It's gonna say A has to be a Boolean, you cannot do an if on a number, okay? But this works in JavaScript, it works similar to how you do things in C. In C, if A has a non-zero value, like 10, it's gonna return true. And if A has a value of zero, then it returns false, right? So if I were to execute this, reload and run, it's gonna return values are equal. Well, let me change this. It's not values are equal anymore. A is true. And uh, clear, reload and rerun. A is true because it has a value of 10. If I were to say A equals zero, and uh, reload and run, it does not execute because zero is a false value. So every value in JavaScript has a corresponding Boolean value. Let's say I change A to minus 10 and uh, reload and run. See, A is still true, okay? It's only if A is zero, as long as A is a number, as only if A is zero that it returns false. For all non-zero values, A is true. Okay, uh, let's try string. If I pass in a string, hello, or any string for that matter, uh, reload and run, A is true. However, if the string happens to be an empty string, I reload and run, A is false. Okay, I can add an else condition here so that it's obvious what's going on. Console.log. A is false. All right, so reload and run, A is false. Now let's look at other data types. Boolean, it's obvious. If it's true, it executes. If it's false, then A is false. But how about undefined? A is undefined, A is false. Okay, similarly for null, A is null, a is false, okay? So in the case of number, zero is false. All non-zero numbers are true. The case of string, an empty string is false. Any other string, as long as it has at least one character, it is true. Undefined is false. Null is false. Boolean true and false are obvious. Okay, so to summarize, type coercion. JavaScript is flexible with typing, sometimes to the frustration of the developers, but this is the way the language is. It kind of converts from type to type, uh, depending on the syntax and the need. Values of all types have an associated Boolean value. You don't have to have a Boolean in an if block or a while block, in, in fact. Uh, you can have a value of a different type, and each of those values have a corresponding Boolean value. And uh, we talked about the double equals and the triple equals, right? So always use the triple equals for precise checks when you wanna check both the value and the type match. If you just use the double equals, JavaScript could potentially do type coercion and see if the coerced type matches, which might not be what you want sometimes. So. I personally choose triple equals all the time because I want to have both type and value checks.